Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at conditional probability and study this concept using a simple example. Let us consider a family that has two children. Now we have to find the conditional probability that both children are boys, given that at least one of them is a boy. Now the information that we have here is that one of the children is a boy, and we have to find the probability that both children are boys. To do that, let us consider the sample set. So the sample set is boy boy that is both children are boys or the first child is a boy and the second child is a girl or the first child is a girl and the second child is a boy or both of them are girls now we're going to define two events here let e denote the event that both children are boys This is the first event. Now, we define another event called F. Now, F denotes the event that at least one, boy, one child is a boy. So this, this encodes the information that we have. So E, is the event that both children are boys and F is the event that one child is a boy. Now, what are we interested in? We are interested in the conditional probability that both children are boys, given that at least one of them is a boy. That is, we are interested in this event, probability of E given F. E is the event that both children are boys. F is the event that at least one child is a boy. And we can find this as probability of E intersection f, which I'm writing as p of ef, divided by probability of f. Now, probability of e intersection f is the same as probability of e in this case, and that is divided by probability of f. Because if both children are boys, at least one of them will be a boy. That is why probability of e intersection f is probability of e. Now, probability of e that both children are boys is 1 over 4 because there is boy boy is one of the samples out of four samples and we assume that all the samples are equally likely and probability that at least one of the children is a boy is 3 divided by 4 that is we are considering the cases BB BG and GB now this will evaluate to 1 over 3 and that is the probability of E given F. That is probability that both children are boys, given that at least one of them is a boy, is one over three. Because we are using the fact that we know that at least one of the children is a boy. And that is why this evaluates to probability E given F as one over three. With this, I'll conclude the simple example. Thank you for watching.